All right, so I had an interesting question this morning from Luis Ramirez. He was asking why the file name number reset every single time he put in a new SD card or formatted the SD card he was already using from the previous day. I had no answer for that. It was a really good question, and I was convinced that it didn't reset. And did I thought you just changed it over to series and you were good to go in the file in the menu setting. But I was wrong. And the reason I was the reason I didn't realize or I didn't know that I was wrong was because I have a method of importing. And I'm gonna show you that right now. The way I import video files from my SD cards, and it all starts with something really basic. The way I do it, I start by labeling my SD cards. And I'll show you what that looks like right now. This is my SD card holder. It's a little think tank. I love it. I had the big cases and the waterproof ones and all that kind of stuff, but this one I really, really like. And you can see when I open this, every single one of my SD cards are labeled. And J1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. I'm, uh, I have J8 in the camera right now. See, I also do that with my wife's cards. So these ones uh, are P. I use the J for John and P for Paulette. We also use different brand SD cards because we're both shooting a lot. So, you know, P1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, she has six SD cards. I have nine of them. Uh, plus tons of other things. Anyway, we both really, really like these think tank things. Import each card daily. So I'm going to circle that and underlight it twice. When you shoot, you should be importing daily. Um, three, use external drives. So you should always be using external drives when you import. Now, keeping these three things in mind, Let's head over to the computer and I'll show you exactly how I import them. Now we're going to open up that card. And we're op going to open up the video clips. And you should know how to do this on your camera already. On Sony's, it's weird. So we're going to go into here. And on a Mac, it's in thumbnail view, which is cool. We have, for each video clip, we have the thumbnail, or we have the actual video file right here. And we have an XML file that comes along with these. Uh, we don't really care about the XML files. So I'm going to go into, so I don't want to rename them. I don't care about those at all. So what I want to do is go into list view like this, and I'm going to sort them by kind by just selecting kind. And you'll see that all the videos, all these files are on the top and all the XMLs are on the bottom. We don't care. Like I said, we don't care about the XMLs. You're going to click on the first video and then shift click on the last video, right click, and we're going to go into rename 30 items. Right click on that. And so it's going to give you some options. First option is replace text. And what that does is you type in the name of the text you want to replace and it will replace it with whatever you want to replace it with then add text so you could add text before or after the name i don't really ever use that one i just want to get rid of that in camera name to begin with or you can go to format and you have several options for format name and index name and counter and name and date um so I usually do name and index. Uh, name and counter is just pretty much the same, except it adds some more zeros to the beginning of it. In fact, maybe I should start using that. As of right now, I'm going to start using that. You could also use name and date. Uh, name and date I really don't use, but it's an option. So we're going to go name and counter. And so for this... Uh, the custom format is already correct because I've already recorded this video once, but whatever. So we're going to go J1 space, or if you're on a 
PC, you want to use underscore or whatever, um, so you can keep a convention. So J1 is the name of my card, underscore. Then you're going to add a couple keywords that identify what this footage is about. So in this case, it is a Buick Encore review. And then I always add another space or underscore under that last one because you see here you want to like I want to keep the last word and the index separate with an underscore. And that's it. So check this out. We click rename and boom. All the files are renamed. J1 Buick Encore Review 1. J1 Buick Encore Review 2. So here's the deal. When you bring in your second SD card, you will be able to have the same file name, but you're using a different SD card. So it's going to be called J2 or J3. In my case, J1 is John1, as I've described before. All right, now that we have renamed all these files, what we're going to do is import them. Because remember, we're renaming these right on the SD card. So... In order to do that, I'm going to move this over a little bit. And then we're going to open up a hard drive. The hard drive, not your internal drive, by the way. I strongly recommend that you get yourself external drives and not use your internal drives for anything. We're going to open this hard drive in a new window uh, or in a new tab. New tab is default. Uh, I adjusted the defaults to open in the new window because I want it to pop out into a new window, not a tab. That's neither here nor there. So I'm going to go into my 2019 folder and I'm going to select personal because this is a personal video. So the way I label these folders, that's the, that's the number month that is in the year 2019. Uh, and today is April 1st. So I'm going to create a new folder here. I'm going to call it 04 for April. That way they're all in, you know, order. Double click on that. Now I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to 2019-0401 Buick Encore Review. Buick Encore Review. Now we're going to do a new folder inside of here. In this case we're going to call it based on the card. So J1 2019-03 because I recorded this yesterday. That is what I'm going to call this folder because this is all the footage I recorded yesterday and it's coming off of the J1 SD card. Double click on that and we'll go ahead and grab these and just drop them in here. And what we're doing is I want to, I want to make this very clear because this is really important. I want to always copy. I'm not going to move these yet. I'm just going to copy them. And the reason I'm copying them instead of moving them is because let's say something happens and your card is disconnected from the computer. You don't want to lose a folder or a file because it got corrupted because somehow during your process of moving or importing all these files, it got disconnected or something weird happened. Uh, if you just copy it, well, it's not actually moving or changing anything on the original card. If you're moving it, then it is. It's taking it off the original card and putting it onto the drive. So I want to leave it there for now, and I will reformat that card in camera. I never, ever delete things from the card from the computer. You always format from your camera. Super important for more than just those reasons. It could be about a minute left, but for the purposes of this video, we're done.